Your sister said he was building an army. We can thank Mira, it's not larger. But we'll lose if we go up against that. He doesn't expect us to. He's trying to frighten us into surrender. I want every bolt aimed at Lord Whitehill the moment he appears. Ryan! Fuck! Crossbows up! Asher Forrester! Show your face, boy! Ryan! He's frightened, father. On ya! <laughs> Are you here to sue for peace, Lord Whitehill? Lay down your arms, and I'll spare your lives. <laughs> That's very funny. I've missed your unique sense of humor. But no. I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men. But it's time you listen to reason. I could ram your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or we could end the bloodshed here and now. This war is over, Asher. It ended the moment Roderick fell. By Ramsay's rules, I'm the victor here. This will all be mine now. One way or another. Oh, this is horse shit. Tell him to fuck off. Are you truly that blind lord? I am the lord of House Forrester! Ha! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> He's the fourth Lord Forrester I've seen in his many moons, father. Let's put all this ugliness behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine for all to see by wedding my Gwyn. <laughs> well, fuck me. Asher, you can't. It's rather generous terms, actually. That would be easier to believe coming from Gwyn herself. Where is she? Far away from all this, of course. Besides, I speak on her behalf as her father. I would just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I've brought home the body of your lord. Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother. <laughs> I'm sure your people will be relieved to keep their lives. A surprisingly honourable gesture, Lord. Of course it was. You have an hour. I'll be waiting in my camp.
I'm sorry, little brother. I've buried too many sons. Maester, take my brother's body. You will join father and Ethan in the grove. As you say, my lord. But... Forgive me, I, I just... Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. We simply accept. We bow our heads and Asher marries Gwyn. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. Well, I, I suppose it wouldn't be so bad marrying Gwyn. Asher! Even if we accepted, I somehow doubt Lud would keep you alive once Gwyn's produced an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. We have to kill them, Asher. I piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill them all. Aye. We ride for war! Aye. We ride! Aye. Spill their blood! Aye. Believe me, I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But we just don't have the numbers. Unless we take them on our terms. Inside our walls. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say-so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord at the lead. They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lord will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lud is wary. Simple. We tell Lud exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. And then? Then an ambush. Your pit fighters strike from the shadows. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lud could escape. There's another way poison in his wine. A woman's weapon. Yes, and a good one. Lethal and direct. Either plan is a high risk. We only lure Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. I'll be there, Roiland. I'll pour the wine myself. Poison is dog shit! You're here for revenge. You want him to choke on your blade, not his vomit. But in ambush, there's no way to control. Everything could go wrong. Poison is targeted. Lud will be the first to fall. I'm sure I have such a toxin in my stores. No. I came here to wet my sword in Westerosi blood. It's what you promised us. We must make a tactical decision, my lord. Carefully, but quickly. These are the only options on the table. Asher is our lord now. The command is yours to give. I understand the risks. But an ambush is the best way to kill as many White Hills as possible. Then we have a plan. Whatever happens to me, I need you to get Ryan out alive. As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother, too. I won't forget this. I've forgotten the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. We will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Send word to Lord. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses.
She's left the key! Search the area! Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! What's all this? I'll tell you on our way. You're making a big mistake. Don't you know who this is? Doesn't matter who he is. We're here for you. This is Lord Rickard Morgren, the most powerful ironwood merchant in King's Landing. One word to your superiors, and he'll have you carted off to the wall. Rickard, tell them how far you'd go to protect your friends. Lady Mira, I hope these men aren't bothering you. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to- Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mira? The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate. Quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden, and lost. Andros was sending cell swords to Ironrath. I couldn't let that happen. <laughs> no need to explain to me. I'm glad he's out of the way. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up, particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The ironwood market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we work together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Identifying Andros as our common enemy while approaching me as a partner. You showed an understanding of King's Landing that took me years to gain. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. I knew it! I never should have trusted you! Of course not. You should never trust anyone in King's Landing. That might have been your only mistake. But a costly one. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. The White Hills don't understand Ironwood. They can't take care of the forests. You may control the trade, but they'll run it into the ground. Only the foresters really know those woods. You're a fool not to see that. If they leave the hills bare, I'll find another forest. I couldn't care less, and neither should you, because you'll be dead. We've arrived. 
Now get out of my fucking litter! Lucan, fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I've got her. You've got the wrong person. I... I've done nothing wrong! Shut your liar's mouth! It's time you answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mera. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick 